Hey, YouTube. Let's talk Reds baseball today, shall we? Don't really want to, but there are, th there are some things that need to be said. This Reds team is the worst team I've ever seen in my entire life. And not too long ago, I also saw a team with a 3-18 record. 3-19 right now. Um, I mean, this thing is so broken. Uh, it obviously stops, starts up top with ownership. Um, not much more I can say about that. At this point, basically, it's just beating a dead horse. Everybody knows the problems. Um, honestly, you know, guys like David Bell and even Nick Crawl to an extent have largely escaped criticism because of just how terrible of an owner Bob Castellini is. Um, this team on the field is, they're bad. Uh, you have guys uh, who don't belong in the majors. You have guys who are thrust in the roles that they're, they're not ready for. And then even look at a legend like Joey Votto. I love Votto. Maybe my favorite player of all time. Votto is 38 years old and being asked to bat cleanup with no protection around him. That is one reason why his numbers are down in a big way. And the thing I go back to is when they decided to shed payroll uh, and trade Winker and Suarez and Henry San Castellanos, they traded Greg. They kind of they went out and they signed sort of these middling veterans, and it just it didn't make sense to me. And, and so not only are the Reds bad, they're also not very young either. If you look at their lineup on a day-to-day -day basis, it's a lot of guys that were 30 years old. So they're bad and they're old and they're just they're not interesting. They make a lot of fundamental mistakes. Look at Sunday's game against Colorado. The dropped pop-ups. Uh, the lack of, I don't know, concentration, I guess would be the word. And then... Um, San Martin and, you know, his battery mate couldn't get on the same page with pitches. And it's just the vibe and the energy on this team is dead. And I believe that the offseason moves combined with maybe the comments of Phil Castellini just, you know, I know sabermetrics can't measure stuff like this, but I think that the mood of this team is completely drained and justifiably so. Um, it's May. Baseball season's over. Um, at this point, what you look for is uh, what I'm looking for is Hunter Green and Nick Lodolo to see what they can bring to the rotation. Um, the lineups kind of, you know, there's not a lot of young guys. Uh, I would like to see a shift in that as time goes along. This is tough to watch, and I, I can't sit here and say I'm glued to every pitch. Um, this is just bad, brutal baseball, and you go on Twitter and you go on message boards and it's just a, basically a funeral at this point. And these are dark times and I, I don't know how to fix this. Um, I know there's talent in the minor leagues below, but my thinking is that when this talent does reach, um, the few young guys on this team are going to be halfway through their, um, you know, rookie deals or pre-arbitration, I should say. And I, I don't trust this, front office, this ownership, to ever fully support the core of this team. They failed with Votto. They failed with others. So there's no trust with me right now, and there's no trust with others. And, I mean, at this point, um, you know, it, it's – I'm I, I've said a lot of words, but I'm almost just speechless in a way just to see a team this bad and this lifeless uh, out there every day. But just want to give some of my thoughts about that. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later. Until next time, take care. Bye.